What's up guys so now i'm going to be showing you guys how you actually install these trigger stoppers and so before we start this all you're going to need is your controller of choice and any rubber band all right all you guys are going to want to do is you get your rubber band and then you wrap it around both triggers like this and then you make sure make sure that the rubber band isn't twisted at all because that can mess it up so make sure it's completely even. You're gonna put it on the controller like that. Put it on the controller like that. And then you're gonna wrap it around so that, uh, so just anywhere where it'll stay. You can do it like under the joysticks if you want. Um, just make sure it's not blocking any of your buttons, obviously. Um, and then now you have two trigger stoppers. And now you guys can see there is a trigger stopper on both sides of the controller. Uh, you, you can adjust these to however you like them. Uh, it's better to have them towards the top of the trigger, like up here instead of at the bottom right here. So make sure you're trying to keep that like as uh, close to the top as you can. It's okay if they move while you're playing, like it's not going to make much of a difference. But then after you have it like that, uh, just boom, right there you have two trigger stoppers. Uh, personally, I don't like it on my L2. I only like it on my R2 because for R2, I edit and place walls, but with L2, all I do is just ADS and build ramps. And it just seems like it bothers me a little bit whenever I'm doing it with that button. So you can just get it and then only wrap it around like half the controller, like uh, something like that, which is what I was playing with uh, through most of the video. Just having it like that which is i like that way more because it doesn't it doesn't affect that trigger only that one which you can see it in action right there you see it stops your trigger like right there instead of all the way down if you do push it'll go down further but it's like it's a lot of resistance which is really good and it's like really good for a trigger stopper so personally the only reason i'm doing this instead of what flea does is because uh, i don't have any super glue at my house so i just got a rubber band and i started doing this and it was it's worked out really well before we get any further into the video make sure that you guys have liked and subscribed with post notifications because here pretty soon i'm going to make a video on my progression from keyboard to controller as some of you may know i have been a hybrid for a while but i've main keyboard and hardly ever played controller but just recently actually only two days ago i switched all the way to controller and i'm not going back to keyboard until they nerf aim assist so make sure to turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss that video. And also don't forget to use code SBRyan-GG in the item shop because it helps me out so much. It helps me out way more than you guys know. I'm going to be putting in all of the money that I get from my code straight back into these content videos. So let's get right into it. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was so clean. Man, if I would have hit that, that would have been nice. Oh. That instant fire with these trigger stoppers. I don't have to wait for it to go all the way down. Oh, that would have been so clean.
Ooh, that was nice. Ooh. -hoo. Oh man, I just got clipped. Oh. Rip. Kind of clean. No, that would have been so clean. Can't believe I didn't hit that. <laughs> this is why I switched to controller. <laughs> That's going on the video just because I aimbotted you. <laughs> Oh, oh, a little pre-fire. All right, guys, sadly, so that is going to be the end of this video. Again, make sure you guys like and subscribe and turn on post notifications. I'm also going to be giving every single person who made it this far in the video a special chance to get a shout out in my next video. Whoever comments 1K the most in this video will get a shout out in my next video.